Alrighty. So, back to Between Horizons. Which is not making me happy. So, I looked up what I should do next. In this case, because I got frustrated uh, by going back and forth. And it's a good thing because it made no sense to me, so... Again, with heat, can't I... Um, uh, moon logic era kind of... Um, not puzzles really, but the cases, I guess. So what we need to do is go talk to Aaron, apparently. To get info about the painkillers, because he got some. We can't ask the hospital. We can't ask the doctors. We just need to go to this random guy to ask. And why? I have no idea. It gets worse too, but uh, I'll show you in a bit. I don't know how we would know that we need to go to this guy too because he doesn't say anything about painkillers. Like, it's so random. There must be something that I'm missing, but I'm not sure at this point if there is something that I'm missing or it's just a game. Yeah, hopefully this will be the last of that. Um, I would have... I'm at the point where I usually drop a game, but I'm close to finishing it. So, I'll keep playing. If it gets stuck too hard, I'll look it up. But, uh, I'm pretty annoyed, uh, I have to say... ...about it. Mainly because it makes no sense. A lot of the gameplay of this game is going around Try to talk to people, randomly find out if they have some info for you. It wasn't like that in the beginning. At least in this case it is so. You don't get the... Anyway. I'm, I'll leave my thoughts uh, towards the end of the game. When I finish the game I'll tell you, I guess. What I think about why am I here? Oh, I need to go right. Well, let's talk to Aaron. This random guy to tell us about painkillers and not the doctors or the nurses or can't ask the computer because it apparently spits out riddles when you want to see who did what you also can't ask the doctors about it Aaron should be here Yes. As you know, I was hit over the head around a month ago. How the fuck would I know that? How the fuck would I know that? Even if he told me like one month ago in game time, I'm not sure how much time has passed since our father died. I'm guessing maybe it's the first mission. Uh... I think it's the first case, right? Because he gets hit and he, he still gets stolen, etc. How the fuck would I remember that and how the fuck would I connect that to ask about painkillers from this guy, anyway? So, now we know that this guy asked for painkillers. And assistant doctor uh, Destina prescribed the uh, thing about it so now let me check the gate because I still can't remember after all this uh, Did he reveal that? And I missed it? 
Um, I've asked here multiple times. No, he didn't reveal anything. Maybe the guy is wrong. So, you're supposed to get that. Uh, we'll try to ask the doctor, I guess. That the painkiller code is 55. But somehow the doctors can't tell you. Which again, zero sense. Now we know that the, the daughter is the one that uh, gave the medication to him. Alright, I don't know how the hell... We're supposed to get the 55 from him, but apparently we don't. Anyway. So, next part of the thing, which I think didn't work even. At least according to the guide, maybe the guide is wrong again, I don't know. Uh, the next part is... Uh, there are these numbers, right? Uh, apparently, the first number indicates a doctor. One or two. They don't get a name, they don't get anything, it's just one or two, for some reason. Second part, which is the three letters, Indicates the ID of the patient, but apparently in the ship they don't have IDs. I don't believe, I guess, in IDs. And they go by where they sleep, their bunk. Which makes also zero sense. What happens if they change banks? Who designed the system? I don't know. So we need basically a 55. Uh, to know that... Um, um, it's a painkiller. We need the ID of Simon. Which... Um, let me see if I can find... Yeah, which is L3A. We need the ID of Simon. And now we can go use our computer, I guess. We'll see if that works. Seriously, this, this world makes no sense, which I heavily dislike personally. I don't mind having a sci-fi world or fantasy world. Put whatever rules you want into the world. But after you set the world, you should be consistent in what makes sense. And the way they do things makes no sense. But again, I'll leave it until the end, I guess. Uh, right, where am I going? Right. Wrong place. Yo, all right. Let me see. Also, the UI is terrible. Terrible. It's amazing by the way that none of the doctors can tell you if they prescribed the painkillers to that guy. Mind boggling. Alright. So. We need one or two, uh, which I think it's one for the doctor. Simon's L3C, L3A, and 55. <laughs> 
55. It's a match. Wow. Yay. I really hope the next mission is better. I really, really hope the, the next mission is better. Or rather, the next quest. Uh, quest. Yes. It really annoys me when things make no sense, if you can't tell. Uh, here. Yes. Can you stop? There we go. The system says it prescribe painkillers to teacher Simon, but everything else points to that not being true. Help me make sense of this. This is the worst run ship in the history of mankind. Fictional mankind. This is the worst fleet, the worst ship crew in Starfleet. They're even worse than my Star Trek Online. Uh, guys, and those get stuck indoors every time I get into a grand mission. And be working with engineer Asher. Long story short, we go to talking and realized we saw certain things the same way. So basically the part of the resistance, I guess. You can call that the resistance. So he started helping me distribute extra painkillers to people who really need them. His secret stash is in the navigation room where he works. You broke the rules hard. You need to stop. Mm. The system sucks, I can see that. But she also broke the rules. But for medicine, I wouldn't condemn them for that. I would say the system needs change. Because it makes no sense to have people that uh, need painkillers, pain medication. Without a, uh, you know, pain relief. That, that's, yeah, bad. Someone who has needed the painkillers a lot throughout my life, but not having any medication like that. I made the case, so we need to put Aaron. Uh, not Aaron, Asher, sorry. Who the hell is Asher? I can't remember anyone. There is a cell. Old guy. At least, I like the two previous cases. This case had actually a conclusion to it. You didn't have to guess. So go to, to, to Acer again. Capture Taya. Talia is to see me. Okay. We'll first talk to Asher, I think. Should be. Actually, I have no idea where you'd be because you can't find people in this game. In this futuristic sci fi thing. There are no comms. Maybe he's in the. Cool. Who, the, who the hell is Asher? I don't remember him at all. Was he on the... Have I talked to him? Yes. Let's 
si Oh yeah, I remember he's in that bank uh, so I kept seeing and I didn't know why I need to go into it, I guess And of course I don't remember if it's left or right Um, oh, there it is. Well, the jig is up. Yaha just sent me a message. Guess I'm in trouble now, huh? Eh, not really. I don't like you lying to me, but other than that... I spotted the buds on the floor. What kind of buds? Okay. Oh, okay. They were awarded the specifically manufactured buds for handling the crisis. Okay. Orland, Joseph, Noelia, and Eric. So these are the four candidates, I guess. Orland, Joseph. Orland is the navigator that we helped. I uh, don't remember the others. Uh, Bahart. Forget about the bills. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see, Eric, Joseph, Noelia. Who are these people? Um, that is Joseph. Oh, he's a navigator. Hmm. He claims he was in the residential area with engineer Farid, Farid and Dr. Yaha. You can ask them, I guess. Uh, there is Eric, one of the engineers. The standoffice. We don't know anything else about him. Okay. Noelia, Navigator Joseph's daughter. Alright, so basically all of them are either navigators or in the navigator room. Maybe other people who did I get any evidence to ask them? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Let's go. I know we need to, need to go to the captain, but I want to proceed with this right now let's go well it's the same place really the navigator room might as well it's in the way and kill uh, two birds with one stone Navigators, right? This, this way.
All five of us working in the navigation room except us, sir. Okay. Now we know. It's basically one of those four guys. Alright, now we'll speak to the captain. Which should be... At your office. Which is that way, right? Yeah. Is one of the suspects. Being a leader doesn't mean you get to decide everything by yourself. Make it sound like I'm being selfish. This couldn't be further from the truth. My feelings and opinions matter just as much in this context as yours. They don't. Okay. Captain, the mission. Somebody felt strong enough to sabotage it, and the crew was completely blindsided. I think it's time for everyone to come together and have an open conversation about what people want. You think openly addressing grievances will jeopardize the mission further, but I think it's the only way to salvage it. So where we're going, the people deserve to know. Have you ever told anyone else about the message, which is <laughs> the most suspicious thing you can say? Someone. Not the full truth, not about Iris. Don't mention the... Who the hell is Iris? The captain has a lot of explaining to do. I'm starting to... Think these guys have a point on the whole the ship is really mismanaged. But they also don't have a point on how they went about it, so split. I have to choose a side. Someone of my colleagues know the truth about Otis. You have evidence, tell you a secret. Who? Don't know if I want to trust you with that knowledge. Out with it. Eric and Dasser and my daughter. So all four of them that were suspicious about changing the um, course of the ship. We should stay out and still listen. Why did we get inside? Uh, no. Yeah, everybody needs to follow the rules, even the captain. Good point! We might have been mistaken with the engineer Lewis, I guess we'll see. This is bullshit, by the way. Again, horrible way to run a ship from the captain, too. The chief of security should know pretty much almost everything because it affects security. Everyone is inept in this, Jesus. I received a strange message from Paul asking me to meet in the laboratory floor in the bay area. I've never met there before. Hmm. Captain seems to know something about Otis, the star that the Zephyr has changed course to. Oh, that is Otis. And what is Iris? Was that? Um, can I tell that? 
message we got from our mother it spoke about uh, no no let's see maybe it's here because we got a coded letter from here and then dad uh, went to talk to the captain and then he died somehow all right it's nice that it records things at least some of them Aro. Okay, it's a different name. Okay, do we never learn anything else? I don't think so. Parogos accord note. Something is wrong about what? Nope. Okay. So we have uh, Iris and Otis. Can we not ask the navigators about it? Like, can I not go now to the navigator and say, hey, what were you talking about? And then they put you in house uh, arrest. Just tell me. So I can decide how to do my job properly. And maybe help you. I'm guessing that would make too much sense for a game. Or at least for this game. Um, okay, nothing there. Don't know where Joseph is, of course, because... Oh, is this Joseph? He looks different, okay. Why would you not tell me? Uh, if only the game made any sense. If only. No, I'm hard on it, but... Um, boy. Alright, there is the laboratories. Maybe we should... I wonder if it's a trap. Maybe we should go first to our... Uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's check our area first. We'll come back. Just in case it is a trap. And we'll find Paul there and say, what? Didn't send you any message. Probably paranoid, but uh, well, a security officer should be paranoid. Uh, 